What is quantitative easing? Good evening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. As you can see here, I am featuring the iconic coin. This is the Silver Dad coin. Silver Dad Knows. You're going to hear my little baby crying in the background. He's two years old. I apologize. He's in the other room. He's like his daddy, ADD. He's hard to put asleep. <clears throat> but anyways, this is the Silver Dad Knows coin. Immaculate. Beautiful. John F. Kennedy. I can't find it no more. I just cannot find it. I'm the only person right now selling it on eBay. And that's one of the reasons why I'm selling it for a hefty price of $200. Find it for me. If you find it, please message in the link and say, hey, look, I found the coin. You were wrong, Silver Dad knows. But I don't think you will because um, I haven't found it myself. I've been looking for it. I want to get another one. I cannot find it. Major media outlets are no longer the gatekeepers. We have plenty of independent channels all over, especially on YouTube, who are providing more accurate, less biased, um, news and data. It's not that we're approaching double-digit inflation. We're already there. If the government was still reporting inflation properly, using the same uh, methodology to calculate the CPI, the month-over-month -month number we recently got would be well over 15%. The entire monetary system is being manipulated, which is why we have double-digit inflation. We're just not being told that. And why would be why would we be being told that? Inflation was deliberately created by the ECB, by the Bank of England, and of course by the Federal Reserve. Quantitative easing is simply another word for inflation. So I ask you again, what is quantitative easing? Printing money and buying government bonds. That's inflation. Expansion of the money supply. Increasing prices are just a result of inflation. That's why the government wants to change the definition of inflation to an increase of prices so they can continue to confuse the public um, as to the source of inflation. If the public knew that inflation was an expansion of money, of the money supply, then they would know exactly who's controlling the money supply. If they think inflation is rising price, uh, is if they think inflation is rising prices, then the government can and will blame on those raising prices. Quote unquote, greedy businessmen. Quote unquote, the ultra rich. Quote unquote, Vladimir Putin. Bingo, perfect person to blame. The government will always point fingers at everyone else rather than take responsibility for their actions. The government created inflation and is destroying our dollar in real time. That's why the majority of my money is being poured into precious metals and cryptocurrency. Why the hell would I be saving paper that they just keep printing and whose buying power weakens by the second? Literally by the second. A soft landing is not coming. No, folks. This will be a plane crash. And it's a plane crash for us all. For our family. For our friends. Just loved ones in, in, in general. It is going to be a plane crash. We're in the process of it. <clears throat> As we speak, it's happening now. So look, I got this one right here. I actually sold one earlier to one of my uh, my most honored customers. He's a big uh, real estate honcho. God bless him. Very, very good man. I even wanted to go get drinks with him, and he's like, I don't drink. Good, good, good man. Hopefully, I'm already going to be 30. I need to stop drinking. I acknowledge that it's, it's not good for myself. <clears throat> but look at that. 2017. Vader. Very, very attractive coins. And of course, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're always going to enjoy that. You will always enjoy that. Whether you're a modern Star Wars fan <clears throat> or you're somebody who was in love with Star Wars in the 70s and 80s, 
You know, I know there's a few of you out there, and there's no shame in that. Star Wars is awesome, especially Darth Vader. It's epic. He's a classic villain. Boom. I will never stop purchasing these. Never, ever, ever. I'm not so sure the backstory of this coin, but it's like you look at it, <clears throat> it looks like it's Roman or, or Italian, even though it's, it's a uh, Mexican Libertad. It looks, it looks imperial, you know, as if she's in Greece, as if this angel is standing in some sort of Roman garden. It reminds me kind of a gladiator even, you know, if there was a statue in Gladiator, you know, Russell Crowe walks by it. That's the image I get when I see this coin, and it is just spectacular. Spectacular. In all honesty, if my entire collection was Libertad's, I would embrace it. And for good reason. I mean, I was showing my grandmother, she's 82 years old. I was showing her this coin. And she was like, wow. She even agreed how gorgeous it was. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And right here, what year is this one? Oof. 2020. Before the pandemic. When life was... Uh, much more normal than it is today. It's wild that everything's come to. Um, up until recently, I've been telling more and more people that I don't want to go to work no more. I sincerely want to work from home. And when I say I want to work from home, I want to work from home, um, not having a job, you know, just making residual income. Residual. I don't got to work for six grand. I don't got to work for 10 grand. I'm making that. Residually, without working, you know. I'm going to mention it later on in uh, the coming videos, folks. I am an author. You can search me up on Amazon. My full name is Christian Cuevas. I have one published book called A Fool Believes. I don't have them with me, so I can't feature them. Um, of course, they're in back of me. I don't want to step away from, uh, from the stage. But um, my first book is actually based on a true story about somebody who worked for my family for years. He was uh, drug-induced. Um, you know, he, he was a drug-induced alpha male who had to make a lot of money to support his family. And I wrote a story about him. I also wrote a story based on some family members. That one's called Cashmere Heretic. So both of my stories, in a sense, are based on true stories, even though they are fictitious. And I have a third book that's going to be released this summer called Swing. Again, I will show um, my books soon. Um, I want to wait till I hit a thousand subscribers and you know, I did want to talk about that guys because it's like I'm already about to hit 330 subscribers um, I'm averaging over a thousand views a day at least in the seven at least in the last seven days, which is immensely humbling um, It's encouraging me to keep doing this. You know, I, I started this, you know, just as fun just as a hobby I always envy people who are on YouTube and making videos and getting lots of views and profiting. Well, you know what? It motivated me to do that. <clears throat> and now that I'm doing it and now that I'm seeing how much, um, how many people are, are watching and hearing and appreciating what I'm saying, it, it's keeping me moving. So as of right now, folks, I, I will continue to release videos every single day. I just will. I will not stop um, because I really believe in what I'm saying. And I love America. I'm an American citizen. I grew up here. And I want to educate this current generation of Americans to be purchasing and hedging themselves up in the greatest transfer of wealth by property, by precious metals, by cryptocurrency. If you can afford it, buy gold. But if you can't afford it, Get silver. Silver is $35 to $40 an ounce. 30 bucks. You know, you can even get them as low as $31, $32. While they keep printing and printing and printing, and it's devaluing, 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 this is not. Gold is not. Cryptocurrency is on the up and up and up. <clears throat> and that's the beauty about inflation. Of course, inflation is a devastating occurrence. 
but it's beautiful in the sense where it raises everything. It's raised the prizes of homes. It's raised the prizes of classic cars, precious metals, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. So if you had all those before they were raised, you benefited greatly. And if you have them right now and you had them before, you're benefiting greatly. So folks, as always, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, you go to my description. At the bottom, you'll see my eBay account, Silver Dad Knows. You can look at my entire collection. You know, not everything, but I have a good amount of coins that I'm selling. You tell me, hey, Silver Dad, I'm a subscriber. I watch you. I actually live in your city. One of the above. You know, you can live anywhere in the world. And you tell me, hey, I watch your channel. I will sell you any of my coins at your choosing at cost. But as always, folks, this is Silver Dad Knows. Always life takes, no edits. You're getting my genuine self. You're getting my genuine beliefs. Thank you for joining us again for another evening. And as always, God bless you. God bless your household. God bless America.